Hi there, this is Robinson Mason from the C64 Walkabout, and I'm going to go through a quick intro of how to get WinVice, the, Win, the Commodore 64 emulator, working in Windows Vista. First, we're going to go and download Vice. We'll just Google it. Simple as that. and it's the third selection that pops up and scroll down to download vice and go to winvice 2.1.zip for MS Windows or the other OS that you might have you're going to open it and at that point a window is going to pop up and you're going to want to drag that to your desktop which I have already done so I'm not going to do that but you would drag and drop it to your desktop or to the appropriate location having it in the desktop is nice um, but you won't need to as I'll show you right now next we're going to go to the c64walkabout.com we're going to do an advanced search for first and we're going to make that in all these are the first games and for some reason you get this big white space with certain versions of Internet Explorer anyways we're going to take a uh, game here let's make it um, Dizzy Prince of the Oak Folk that's going to take us to the GBC, which you can search on your own. Gamebase64, gb64.com. We're going to click on that Latif link. I'm going to open that. I'm going to take this T64 file and drop it to a folder I've created on my desktop by right click New Folder called C64 Games, which I've named C64 Games. Uh, renamed rather. We're going to take that T64 file, drag and drop it in there. Now when the T64, you'll notice that Mayhem in Monsterland, another file I've already downloaded, has this Commodore logo on it. Well, we're going to associate T, well, D60, this is a D64 file, as you can see down here. All C64 disk files have already been associated with Vice, and we're going to do the same thing here we're going to open we're going to select a program now you don't need to do this you can always open the files directly with another program but uh, with um, actually with vice uh, and I'll show you that in a bit but this allows you to simply open up the game folder and double click on the game file and that will kick off the game. Now we're going to use options, warp mode, and we're going to say no, no, we don't want that. And there's Dizzy, Prince of the Oak Folk, already popped up. We can go and warp mode it. Or we can just close it out and open up Mayhem and Ultraland. Same way, you notice I just double clicked on it. I didn't need to open Vice first. If I were to open Vice, I would go Auto Start, Disk Tape Image, and then select Mayhem and Monsterland, which shows actually a directory of the disk down there. But I just double click that or attach it, and that would auto start. The same effect. We're going to warp mode this. say G for game. We're going to do the N button, you know, the N key. No, 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 no. And there we are, Mayhem in Monsterland. I'm going to get my joystick, which has actually been set in the joystick settings already by me, but you'll have none if you have a USB game cat game pad connected to your 
Vice Emulator or to your system before you boot up the Vice Emulator, before you kick off the program, um, then you'll notice this option or a similar you know, USB gamepad option there. Hit your fire button and you're ready to go. And you're playing games in no time. That wasn't so hard, was it? Okay, so we see how to play the games here. Um, or to get games to be played. Uh, we can go into the settings and we can make sure that save settings on exit is checked. Go to your options, make sure you're on double size, which I am right now. Or you can just go full screen up here. Um, you can save a snapshot image of this exact location and you can load it later so that you don't have to worry about um, playing the game like in the old days. Uh, or leaving the system on, or some other method of saving and loading. Uh, if you have a multi-disc game, then you go to attach disc image into Drive 8, and that will, I mean, that's where you'll, uh, once you click on this, you can choose, say, for instance, over here, you would have a game disc B and a game disc C uh, for multi-disc games and you'd alternate using attach disk image and you'd attach and that's essentially the same as popping a disk in to the old disk drive. Well, I'm going to cut this off short because I've been having some issues with the screen capture program I'm using here and I uh, want to keep it under 10 minutes so let's hope that worked and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the quick and dirty tutorial of how to get Vice running on a PC with your favorite C64 games. Thanks, and uh, leave some comments.